How's it? Hey, Liz. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The channel. Hmm. Okay. Uh, today is July 12th. <laughs> like going down the calendar. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to push these two of these things daily. It's Friday. It's the big uh, Aaron day. I don't know. I have to drive around a lot um, on Fridays. So, and I have to take my mom with. So, uh, it's usually oh, oh, yeah, whatever. whatever. So, <laughs> uh, and uh, 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 Michael wants to do some reshoots on uh, the student film, the film project. So, so what happened there is the we put, like basically pulled an all nighter with editing and had it submitted, and then the, only the teacher looked at it and gave some critical feedback. And Michael was to take that and redo stuff. And you know, he brought over some of the other uh, student films that were done uh, for this class project, and uh, I saw some of them. And it, you know, it's like people in front of the camera, and they're thinking about the shots and all that, and lighting and shots. And ours is uh, just this massive, ambitious project, sci-fi, light years away, back and forth, and Earth, Pentagon, and it's like <laughs> gigantic story. But I think the problem is. There's this huge, gigantic sci-fi story we're concocting, and we're submitting four minutes of it, and the four-minute project was supposed to be like a, a short film. So like a beginning, middle, and end. Something with the concept of a beginning, middle, and end inside of it, sort of like, here's a start, and here's an end. Hmm. And so, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like she saw the teacher saw some of this four minutes and went like, "What do you mean from the future?" <laughs> it's just sort of stuck in there to explain later in the film. So it's kind of an interesting process, but it's big redo stuff. I think I don't know. It's mm, ah. So there's all that. Now let's go world news. Uh. Trump's trying to say, don't look at 2025. Oh, what are you talking about? It's there, and he's winning in the polls, and polls don't mean kind of like nothing. They're not like, they're not predictive accurate at all. They don't predict very well. Polls, the polls are like a little snippet of a little section. So it's like, it doesn't, in so many presidents, they polled badly, and then they came and got one, and then you know, this and that in reverse. They pulled well, didn't win. Mm. So polls, eh. And uh, Biden's behind in the polls and they're harping on that, oh, that disastrous election. And if if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't resign and withdraw and all this stuff, then we're, we're not gonna give you $90 million donors and donor. So it's all kinds of weird things. Other people are saying, yeah, I talked to him. It seems like he's okay and he's, he can handle it. So. And uh, what else was there? There was that. It just goes on and on and on like that. They're just... <gasps> I think the press made something out of it because it was a debate. They hoped that Biden would smash on Trump because of all of his stuff. You know, like, they're looking at a debate. Uh, not, you know, it's like public speaking. Oh, you flood the debate, you know. Uh, but, uh, the Trump, at the same debate, he lied, gave a complete falsehood every one minute, 20 to, tw one minute to 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Every one minute, 20 seconds, every minute and a half, there was a big lie that he gave out. So, that's on its average. So, it's like, uh, Wait a minute. What what are we what are we putting value on with this debate analysis in the first place? Pontiff, Anna, who is that? Mike, Rituals, patient, run. That's mine. Walter. What? Yes. 
What the heck just happened? The ghost tube turned down, just went eight. Okay. Let's go to the Hawaii news. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to make this real short. I gotta go short. This is. Uh, oh, wait. I gotta do that first. <laughs> Transition to the news. So Biden says he's gonna stay in the race. He's like, okay, calm down. I'm gonna stay in the race. Because yes. they're worried about if he uh, doesn't win. So if he doesn't win, then what? It's like, um. Who else, who else are they going to put up there against Trump? And vice versa with the Republicans. Is there anybody else but Trump? How about that question? You know, can you run somebody else? No, they picked that guy and they're sticking. Why? Because he's going to win and they're going to have their big giant jobs in sports. They're poaching. So <laughs> this is big uh, programs offer these college college kids like six hundred thousand dollars to enter the portal just like to transfer to another school our school has more money than your school and we're gonna buy off your players it's a problem oh. and uh, back in the day here quick i'm stuck oh pat say jack gotta come back for celebrity wheel of fortune uh oh that's not elderly quite retired well we're back in the day in 1989 when you want to relax you just kind of get up and dance with your friends that no longer go to the dance clubs <laughs> this is Makaha, Makaha farm tour guide oh so Japanese visitors and his tour of Makaha was a, let's go in the Quonset hut and do the hokey pokey <laughs> oh gosh activities lessons for Hawaiian culture and values I this is Hawaiian culture and values this is like like the thing they do in like fourth grade because you can't get fifth graders to do that. They're like, no way. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, when you're the, hey, this is fun again. <laughs> okay, uh, Hawaii Olympic swimmers in the past. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Because if there's any of our small sectors in the economy that needs a boost, we're it. Thanks. So they're throwing a bunch of free debit cards to. <sighs> Oh, here's a political cartoon. Does your dog bat? I don't know. It is not my dog. Because that's from uh, Pink Panther. <laughs> I can recognize that. So Trump has his Project 2025 Godzilla monster on a leash. I don't know. I don't know. It's from a dog. I just have it just watching the stuff. And of course, the political cartoon, which is of the same. Here we go. Before voting, crucial to learn about Project 2025. No vota. Whether Republican, Democrat, Independent, or Undecided will be able to make an informed choice in November unless they know about Project 2025. The plan, drawn up by the Heritage Foundation with wide conservative support is designed to completely revamp our American form of government and it is set to go into effect on day one of the next Republican presidency. Many of its measures will be irreversible and some are already activated by last week's SCOTUS rulings. The media need to provide thorough, informative, oh. Daddy. Oh. News articles on this project, its background, leaders, goals, and specific proposals so that readers can judge for themselves what impact the kind of governance that Project 2025 envisions yes. would only have on just about everything that matters. Then they can choose. This historic election is my about much more than Trump versus Biden. Biden? Biden. Sue Cowling. Coolio o. O -u -o -u. Coolio o. Coolio o. -u. Talking. Sue talking in tutu voice. Thank you, Sue. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's frightening. It's scary. Sue, you're right. Thanks for your contribution. <laughs> it's just. This whole Project 2025, it's, it's like, for example, it's going to make federal employees uh, a kind of a work for hire position, not like a union, like a work for hire. So they can quit at any time, but the boss can fire them at any time. Key point, because Biden, I mean, Biden will 
I broke it up. See, here I am messing up too. And I'm not that old. So, uh, wait, where's my cognitive test? So, Trump says, uh, well, oh, God, it's just so nutsy insane. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Now I'm the, oh, oh, the, it's Project 2025. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Federal employees work for hire. So, Trump will be saying, you're fired. And you're fired as federal employee. And federal employees has to vow a loyalty oath to Trump. So if Trump wants to do something, you disagree with him, you're violation of loyalty oath, you're fired. All federal employees, plus there's much, much more. <laughs> Wait, there's more. So it's it's a, it's a spook show for sure. But hey, it's okay. It's it's um it's Friday. Thank God, but it's not Aloha Friday. Aloha, but Aloha to you. Okay, get the right button, Papusha. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is the sun gonna rise if I can go catch him. Gotta go run out and get the sunrise now. Just to meet it. Okay. Aloha, just to meet all of there's sun. Okay, Aloha to you.